Hello everyone. Welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Akshay Srinithi Kripa from Informatica GCS. In today's video, we will be looking at the usage of router transformation in IACS Mapping Designer. The agenda for this meeting would be an overview of router transformation, the use cases where router transformation can be put to use, I'll show you a quick demo of how you can use a router transformation in IACS Mapping Designer and a few reference articles. Router transformation. Router transformation is ideally used for splitting upstream pipeline to multiple downstream pipelines. It is an active transformation that uses output group conditions to route a data row. What this means is that in a router transformation, data integration uses a filter condition to evaluate each row of incoming data. You can use router transformation to apply a condition to the incoming data. There can be one input group and more than one output group. The output group fall under two categories which would be User-defined output groups where you will be configuring the uh, condition for the filter and default output group. If all the user group condition evaluates to false, then the data row is pushed to default group. Another pointer to note here is that a given data row can pass through multiple user output group if it satisfies the output group condition. Let us look at some of the use cases where router transformation can be put to use. You can use router transformation to group data by different country attributes and route each group to different target tables based on conditions that test for the region. Another example would be to group inventory items by different price categories and route each group to different target tables based on conditions that test for low, medium and high prices. Now let us look at a demo of configuring router transformation in IACS mapping. Before we begin our integration in IACS, let us look at the data that we are going to work with. This is an employee data which contains the details of employee ID, employee name and employee region. The requirement here is to split this data in three different categories based on the employee region to which each employee belongs to. Back. Let us look at how we can achieve this requirement using router transformation in IACS. Once you log in to your IACS org, please navigate to Data Integration Console to create a mapping. In the Data Integration Console, please click on New, Mapping, and click on create. The mapping designer is now loaded. Now let us go to the source transformation and select the flat file connection which contains the employee source data. I'm selecting the employee CSV file which we looked into earlier. So these are the various source fields which are available. Now to split the data depending on the employee region field, let us make use of a router transformation in the mapping designer. Now we shall configure the 
conditions based on which the data should be split. As you can see here, the default output group gets auto-populated. If the data doesn't fall under the user-defined filter condition that you are configuring here, then it would be routed to the default group. Click on configure and you get to choose the field name based on which the filter condition needs to be configured. In our example, we are looking to split the data based on the employee region. So let us give the value for the filter condition which would be APAC EMEA and North America. You can include as many number of output group depending on your requirement. Now, let us create three different target transformations. Now, to route the various output group, click on the plus icon that you see to the target transformation. You can link them. I'm selecting a flat file connection for this target transformation and I'll create the files at runtime. To create the files at runtime, click on select. And here you can select create new at runtime and provide a name for the target file to be created. I'll name it based on the regions. The second target file would be created containing employees who belong to region EMEA. Now I am creating a third object for loading the North America employee details. Now we have three target transformations ready. Now let us save the mapping. The mapping is now saved. Now let me click on run. Now we will have to select the secure agent which needs to be used for this integration. Now let me run the mapping. We shall look at the mapping execution in the My Jobs section.
the mapping is in running state. As you can see, the mapping has now executed successfully and it has splitted the data rows from the source file in three different targets based on the condition that we have specified. Now, in the target file directory, you would see three different target files being created. And let me show you the data of one of the file. As you can see here, the employee data have been split successfully depending on the, based on the employee region to which they belong to. I hope the demo was useful and it gave you an idea of how you can configure a router transformation in a mapping designer. For more information, you can refer to the online help guide and look for this router transformation documentation. We'd love to hear from you. For any feedback, please email us on supportvideos at informatica.com or you can also tweet us on InfraSupport. Thank you.